African Lion Mickey Bell Roberts is the African Lion, making his way from South Africa to Texas. And he originally created his YouTube channel to convince the state of Texas that his business selling street food called Eat My Pies was an African meat pie business and not, you know, what we all were thinking. <laughs> okay, so part of that story is true. <laughs> Now, after a short medical hiatus, the African lion has moved from urban gardening and backyard gardening techniques to larger off-grid operation. So now he's growing stuff like weird long neck squash. I mean, that is the oddest thing I've ever seen. The oddest squash I've ever seen. Anyway... The African Lion also shows lots of homestead projects, and somehow he's still able to squeeze in time for baking and gardening with all that homestead to-do list just tallying up. Like they say, when you have a lot to do, start with a meal. And if you're going to have a meal, why not have the African Lion? <laughs> or watch him, either one. <laughs> Easy Rider Greg. Easy Rider Greg has loved motorcycle riding for 57 years. This channel features lots of tours through desert towns and gorgeous scenery all along the open road. There are quite a few places on the See Before You Croak bucket list that Easy Rider Greg has helped a lot of viewers vicariously cross off. Except, you know, maybe having a motorcycle wreck. I I'm not really sure e even Easy Rider Greg wanted to be there for that one. But... With a broken collarbone, he got back on the horse, and, wait a minute, hog, and he went out and got some ice cream. Of course, there might be a couple weeks between the two. If you're not into motorcycle rides, maybe his sense of humor can bid you to pop in now and again. You should see his bathroom viper video. And then there's Kimber, the fun-loving cattle dog who's always up for a good game of I'm not kissing you. So, how's the move to Arkansas coming along? It seems Easy Rider Greg was so enamored of his rides through the natural state that he decided to move here. I mean, there. Nah, really, he just wanted to live closer to me. There's also drone videos and um, mail calls and shout-outs. Some of the shout-outs are on the road so viewers can hear the rumble with their names. Sometimes there will be restaurant reviews too, so whether you're an avid rider, a traveler at heart, or you just like listening to Greg talk, and that man does like to talk, check out Easy Rider Greg. Roost and Rescue. What does a person do with three acres, ten children, and over 80 animals? Some of the animals are rescues, by the way. That's a lot of kids and critters. How do they do it all? Well, apparently the chickens help with the cooking <laughs> and some of the homeschool math. But having lots of animals is a lot of responsibility, and they see to it, you know what? That cat's faking it. And what about Sonny the duck? That's not how they encouraged egg laying, I'm pretty sure, isn't it, Minnie? But they've got oodles of room to spread out after they got rid of everything and moved. And YouTube gets to see every homemade money-saving DIY from household management to gardening. And tattoos? Looks like a blast, y'all, but uh, <laughs> I'll take the coffee. Want to see how they manage a large family? Or see them meet their YouTube family? It's all there at Roots and Rescue. African Meat Pies and Off-Grid Living. Easy riding on Harley Davidsons. Well, it's Greg's, but it's a Harley. Large family farm living on raw land. Are these your people? <laughs>